what is up guys on the day three of the kiwi md app development uh, we are going to be developing the final day uh, looking to build few additional things as well as make sure that our application is looking much better so in the day two we still worked with the fast api server endpoint and uh, uh, successfully connected it and it was working and we also built an apk towards then so if you have not watched that video you can go watch that but today's video we got a lot of things to do starting with probably working on uh, getting the application to have a much better ui uh, have add some themes to it and also work on the font and color and stuff like that and towards the end we'll also be building the final application on my uh, physical device which is one plus three and then making sure that it connects and we will be testing the application all right just a quick note the application is looking like this at this point of time it is not that good looking i'm more i'm particularly going to use the kiwi md's theme option and also going to be changing the labels base font so all of this is going to be making it super easy for me to control the entire application itself so we don't have to go and individually change each and every label and to uh, add fonts to that you can just change the base labels font and it'll automatically reflect here so that's what i'm going to be doing now i'll come back and show you guys what i worked on Alright folks, so I did work with this application and I've completed building or I should, I should say theming the application a bit and uh, I'll just show you guys the final output and how it looks like. To be honest with you guys, this is I think the maximum that you can go with this limited amount of time. Yes, you can work and you know build an application from start to end that is going to look extremely good and spend extra time on it, spend a time on each module to make it much better. But for a working application, this is the maximum that you could push to in the given amount of time. I spent about an hour and a half just theming this itself. So this is how the user login page is going to look like. I just say coder monk, and if you see that the, the font is changed, and it's actually good to see that as well and the credit balance page is right here where you can actually see the credit balance and things like that and a simple carousel to scroll and look into the span history and things like that yeah the application or the this thing is a little bit outdated i should change that in the server all right so the final part is for the bank transfer where you can enter your uh, destination account number for this i think it's the iot 512 and let's say the balance is 700 right and some uh, swift code and you confirm the 700 transfer successfully and we'll just quickly check that here as well um yeah awesome so 700 k and the request came and it got transferred successfully so pretty much that's what i have created and uh, the theming was a little bit easier couple of quick suggestions here that the theming was easier but i did find a lot of broken parts along the way especially with respect to the scroll view and making the carousel work and things like that is this the maximum that and framework can push to like you know if, if i look at it it's it, it's okay like it's functionally working but this is not what i was expecting to be honest uh, in terms of the look of it i was expecting they could push it more maybe i don't have time i don't really know you know because i need to also edit this video and launch it out as well so i in my mind i'm thinking three hours a day four hours a day is enough to build an application and to be honest with you guys it's been about an hour and a half you spend about 50 percent of the time and this is the maximum i can push the theming to and to be uh, also frank i was expecting extra from the kiwi framework itself to make it look much better and much easier to use but uh, kiwi mds uh, as an open source community project it's a little bit in slower space of uh, amount of work that goes into it so i don't really uh, i'm not i don't have much comments to say here but except for the fact that it is working nothing's broken and probably you can even ship it out so the time to now build this application uh, this is going to be the i think the quirky part because i need to build this application push it into my uh, mobile phone or the serial device here and then test it out does it work we gotta find it out so let's build this application same again here same thing that we did yesterday i'll try to build it push it inside the application uh, the the real device and show you guys what really happens all right guys so i'm going to be running the application right now uh, 
I have the terminal running with the logcat running as well. And as soon as you fire up the application, I've got a lot of things to say about this. But uh, the splash screen comes up. And the first time the, the splash screen comes up, it takes a lot of time to load because it's actually pulling the data and caching into our application. I'll show you guys the APK size and all of that in the last video when you're comparing it. But for now, let's let's do a quick review of how these things work out. So we need the bank user and password. So I'm going to be giving the username uh, because it needs to hit the hit the server uh, making sure that this this thing is properly given all right and the password as well well it's the username and password is given the submit button and it quickly goes in and hits the uh the, hits the url which is the server that's running right now i've showed you guys a lot of times that so once that is completed uh the url comes up and the page comes up and i'm okay with this i mean i i was expecting it to be a little bit worse like uh the layout to be re really messed up but it's showing everything properly the scrolling is also fine and as you can see the scrolling is fine the card you can see the card like yeah it's it's okay now let's do the bank transfer and test this out uh the destination is iot 254 i don't even know why i named it that way and the amount is 700 bucks and the swift code you can do anything i'll just put something like this and uh, let's submit it cool so the money is also transferred that portion is also working and the server is also having the entry so basically this is the entire application now i'll quickly close this out and uh, the comments that i wanted to give was the application start time varies depending on when you're starting in the first load is taking quite a lot of time it takes at least uh, 25 to 30 seconds because it is doing all sorts of caching and making sure that it picks it picks things from locally and the lock is also a little bit uh, it's better compared to what you find in usual log, uh, logs compared to even the native logs this is much better i can find that uh, this comes as part of the python uh, package so that's something that uh, is actually also the disadvantage of uh, the kiwi see the the whole understanding behind kiwi is that everything that you write in python has to get converted to a java class and only then that can be worked or built into apk and that's what is running inside the application so whole of, all of that does take time and uh, i'll just also quickly show you guys how this entire thing is actually working on the screen right so it says unpacking private app and the data version is also present okay let me show you guys the the basic stuff right so if you see here it is actually loading the gl it's an, it's op loading the open gl and that is what is responsible for the application to run uh, it is not picking anything from the native itself it's just loading an open gl canvas and that's being shown as the application so probably it could cause a lot of uh, issues when you're building a bigger application might cause junk issues i don't really know about it so this is the final application i'm going to be freezing it up no more changes to this application i'll have the apk and show you guys what the size of it and we'll test out the memory and stuff like that as well uh, in the final part of this uh, this series so if you are interested i'll show you guys the the, the final jar that that uh, the apk that got built uh, we'll find it in a uh, in finder and you can see for yourself uh, all right so the application is is a whopping 46.3 mb i mean uh, i'm not saying this is bad but for a very small application like this i wasn't expecting this much anyway you can still reduce the size of the, the apk a lot of things are there like i said it loads the entire uh, the kiwi itself the kiwi examples and kiwi package whatever is whatever is there as part of the package is being loaded as into the bulldozer for the apk there are few things that you can remove manually and all of that we will find out in the final part of this series so three days of kiwi is done i'm going to be finally starting with flutter from tomorrow i'm really excited to do that let me meet you guys in tomorrow's video i'll see you there until then peace out have a super awesome day